guys, it's your girl T, and I want to go ahead and shout out Blake. Blake has sent me this message on Facebook, and as you guys see, Blake is not a person of color. You know, Blake wanted to know my opinion on this story. He did not understand the, the outrage. He didn't understand why folks were so upset. So if you guys have not heard, there's been so much controversy surrounding the whole Coca-Cola Super Bowl ad. Folks were pissed off on Twitter and on Facebook. They took the Coca-Cola's Facebook page to trash it. They were so upset that Coca-Cola had the audacity to basically sing America the Beautiful in several different languages. They sung it in English, Spanish, Hindi, Portuguese, and whatever else you wanted, whatever else language they managed to fit in there. But folks were upset. They also even had a gay couple in there. So folks were saying that, you know, they're trying to push an agenda, and this is America, you need to speak English. They started several hashtags. I mean, the ignorance was just right. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys some of this news clip, and I'll come back with the rest of my time. Said, that's how it sounds. It's a new Super Bowl ad by Coca-Cola celebrating the nation's diversity. It also features the first gay family to appear in a spot for the big game. While many are praising this commercial, it is causing a bunch of controversy. Good evening again, everyone. A lot of people are threatening to boycott the soft drink maker. They're apparently upset that parts of the song America the Beautiful could be heard in languages other than English, and that the ad featured people of different ethnicities and faiths. Twitter and Facebook have been flooded with reaction and Fox 10 Steve Kraft joins us now with more on what this, this is all about, Steve. Well, John, this ad for some reason seems to have struck a nerve with people. So let's start by checking it out. Take a look. America should be sung in English. That's kind of the way I feel about it. We speak English. <laughs> it's our country. Well, of course, I prefer an English, and this country should be all English, even though I'm European, but I came here and I spoke English. But other people found the ad uplifting, precisely because of the variety of languages. It's a beautiful song. It stands for something I believe in, and uh, it's just, uh, you know, I, I think it should be sung in other languages. I think it can be any language. And what's your reason for feeling that way? Just because, um... There's a bunch of languages all over the world and people love music. It just, it's worldwide thing. It just shows that America's a melting pot with many different languages. Advertising pros recall the old adage, any publicity is good publicity. And add, Coke went beyond a number of different languages in the ad. Supposedly, it was the first gay couple ever portrayed in a Super Bowl ad, was one of the, the, the scenes in that commercial. So you're right, perhaps they did know they were trying to push culture, push the envelope a bit. They, I think, have the right to do that. It's important to remember Coca-Cola is both a national and global brand, so that may play into the themes of multiculturalism seen in this commercial. Vice President Joe Biden weighing in today on Twitter praising the ad. It's an interesting moment, a commercial for a consumer product sparking a searching discussion of what it means to be in America. Okay, so you guys just watched the news clip. I also want to show you guys some of the comments that were left on Twitter and on Facebook and on, you know, just different sites. And this just goes to show you that the whole post-racial America thing is bullshit. I've been saying this from day one. Folks want to act like, you know, everything's a kumbaya society and you're always talking about racism and, you know, you're always talking about the race card and all this other shit. If this ain't showing y'all how motherfuckers really feel about people of color, I don't know what is. You know, it's just sad that folks can't just learn to just get along. I mean, it makes no damn sense. First of all, Coca-Cola is a global brand. It's not an American brand. It's global. It's known worldwide. It's one of the most worldwide recognized trademarks out there, okay? And then when you think about America, it's not just America. It's not just North America. You also have South America. You also have Canada. I mean, America is bigger than just the United States. But you know, a lot of these arrogant racists, they don't see it that way. And then another thing, when did English become the official language of America? I didn't speak English. I told y'all in my Janelle Gentil video, I was in ESL until I was in third grade. English is not my first language. It is my second language. It's like, it just trips me out how arrogant, how ignorant people are. And half these white folks complaining and bitching and whining, a lot of y'all were immigrants. A lot of y'all came from Russia and Europe and everything else. And I understand that y'all took time out to learn English just like I took time out to learn English, you know, but if somebody doesn't want to learn English, that's on them. 
You, I'm not about to sit here and condemn somebody who's Mexican who refuses to speak English. Oh fucking well. If you don't know English, I ain't got shit to say to you. Because I don't speak Spanish and I don't understand you, you go your way, I go my way. But I'm not going to sit here and threaten that person, call them out, belittle them, or think I'm better than them because I speak English. I mean, some folks were needing to get over themselves. I thought the commercial personally was beautiful. I was glad that they had it in other languages. I, hell, I wish they would have sung it in my language. I'd have been real damn happy then. It shows you the ignorance out here. And I deal with racism on YouTube all the time. I get trolled by racists all the time. I even have racist people come to my website, you know what I mean, and upload stupid videos, talking shit, you know, posting, uh, uh, ghetto gaggers porn on my site so I have to literally shut down my site and unless you have permission from me you can't even upload anything now because the racists try to really fuck up my site you know but folks want to keep screaming that we're in a post-racial society and they don't see color I can't tell as soon as anything multicultural gets put out there folks get into an uprage just like the whole Cheerios commercial and now the Cheerios girl they've come back with a part two and folks are boycotting that as well but folks are upset about that it goes to show you how deep people's supremacist views are. You know, and I think that a lot of these white supremacists are upset because the white gene is at risk. You know, I've done a lot of reading about it. The white gene is at risk. You have so many people in these interracial relationships. I feel like that's why they're pushing that because it makes no other sense. Everything causes some type of outrage on the internet. I mean, it's just starting to be a bit ridiculous now. You know, but to me, if this isn't proof that some people are really scared of their genotype being phased out, I don't know what is. They're not feeling this whole, you know, this multi-ethnic, multicultural movement. They're thinking it's some type of agenda to wipe out the white race. I mean, some of the comments I've read were just crazy, but this is how people really feel. You know, and I think that people need to stop taking it as, oh, they're just trolling and they're just talking shit. No, when people show you their true colors, you take it for what it is and you learn from that. You don't just dismiss it as trolling. This is how a lot of these folks feel. And this whole situation is just sad. You know, it makes no sense. They took a beautiful commercial and they just turned it into controversy. But, you know, like I always say, that's why you have to judge people based on that individual and not as a whole. You know, Blake is a young white boy. He's one of my best subscribers. You know, he sends me video requests all the time. You know, I have a lot of white subscribers who support me, who support my work. So I know not to mix them up with these white supremacists out here who just go around just messing with people and trolling people and everything else. You know, we have to learn to start respecting each other first as human beings. You know what I'm saying? Stop with the whole skin color thing. Stop putting me into a category thinking that all black people behave a certain way. We have to start seeing folks as individuals. And I think that that's what Coke was trying to do with this commercial is to show that, yeah, we may all be different culturally. We may all look different, have different hair textures, different skin tones, even speak different languages. But at the end of the day, we're human beings. This is not the first time they've pushed this agenda. They had a commercial back in the 60s, you know. If I could buy the world a Coke. I mean, does anybody else remember that commercial? I know I wasn't born, but I remember seeing that commercial, you know, being replayed in the 80s. So Coke has always been about multiculturalism. It's just that a lot of folks have a lot of anon anonymity now because of the internet, so now they feel the need to go in. But the whole situation to me was just really damn ridiculous. So anyways, go ahead, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire controversy. How do you feel about it? Were you upset because they decided to sing America the Beautiful in different languages? Let's go ahead and start the discussion. All right, deuces.